down here towards the bottom of the Gothic Quarter, closer to the port. And we're walking around and all these little smaller streets where there's usually a lot more bars and everything. So that's what we're trying to check out, just kind of what's going on, uh, what's open, what's not. Give you guys a little idea of how Barcelona is these days. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. It is Saturday, October 17th, and you might've heard that Catalonia has decided to close bars and restaurants for the next two weeks, basically until the end of the month. So I wanted to get around in the Gothic quarter and walk around and see kind of what is going on, what is being affected by this. Obviously not a lot of people happy with this new measure, but it's been put in to try to limit those cases. So let's check it out. It is Saturday morning, so a lot of those cocktail bars are going to be closed anyway, but you can see a lot of the shutters down for just places to go get a coffee. Basically, the rules are now that you can get things to go at these bars and restaurants, but a lot of them looks like they've just shut down and it's just not even worth opening up. in Plaza de George Orwell, which is right in the center, just off of La Rambla, close to the Plaza Real. And it is a plaza that usually is filled with different bars and their tables and their terraces outside. And you can see that there's nothing out here, not even one table. In fact, the only bar that's open is the Orwell. And it's just gonna be to go. The hair salons were one of the few places that were not affected by the restrictions. Those are still open. A lot of the different commercial places have seen their capacities reduced to about 30%. And you can see the effects of it as we walk down the Carri Avignon, which is usually bustling and got all sorts of different shops around it, different bars and things. Not much open at all here. We got one of the stores opening right now. What you might be thinking is, what time is it? It's almost noon. So you can see it's not, it's not early here. Things happen and open up a little bit later normally, but you can see that even at noon, there's a lot of things that are just still closed. read an article in the paper the other day and the title was that Madrid has a state of alarm but it has bars and that Catalonia doesn't have a state of alarm and it doesn't have bars. So it's an interesting measure for the government to implement closing all those bars for everybody here without that state of alarm. Something that a lot of the restaurant owners were hoping was going to be overturned by those courts but they went ahead and decided and implemented just yesterday this new measure. And so all of these, like I said, are gonna be closed until the end of the month, as of right now, and we'll see where that goes afterwards. And we're walking on La Merce Street, which is a street that usually around this hour has probably got a lot of things closed, but it's got some famous places like La Plata, you can see right here, which is not open. You can see the normal opening hours right there, 11.30 to three o'clock, and then again, 6.30 to 11. Uh, and like I said, it's almost noon and it isn't, it's not open. And this is a street that I love to walk down, absolutely gorgeous, and a street that I love to guide down and point out different things to people. But you can see a completely different atmosphere on the street today.
One of the first measures the Catalan government took was to close nightclubs. And this was right basically after we came out of lockdown. Uh, we saw a lot of cases and a lot of spreading coming from those nightclubs. And so they closed those down a couple weeks ago. They wanted to, the case is getting a little bit better. They wanted to start opening them up and give them the option to have people inside, but not dancing or anything. You had to be sitting down at the tables, ordering and, and listening to the music. Uh, personally, I don't know what that would have done uh, or how nice that would have been, but they canceled that. They closed that down real quick once yeah. cases started popping up again. And this most recent idea was to really stop those cases again. One of the things that the restaurant owners were complaining about is it's not these restaurants or these bars that are that are causing all of these these cases and all the spreading of the virus. To which the health minister in Catalonia basically replied that it isn't the bars, it isn't even the universities that are affected as well, but it's the people that are going in and the close contact that might happen as a result of all these. So this has been taken as a measure just to really try to slow something down. And now we're coming up on the Plaza Real, which is, if you've ever been to Barcelona, it's the big Spanish square we have in the center of the city, just off of La Rambla. And it's encircled by different bars and restaurants and nightclubs. So I'm really interested to see, and I think that this is probably going to be one of the hardest hit places, just because there's really almost no options for them to even be open. It's not a place that people come maybe usually to get something to go. So we'll see kind of what offers they have going on in here. So what you're after seeing are a lot of people just sitting outside, sitting down, enjoying the sun while they can, but with nowhere else to go, grab a coffee, grab a croissant, something like that, and you're just out kind of hanging out what you would be doing at a bar or at a restaurant. It's kind of crazy to think that these are the measures that they've taken, especially in a country like Spain, where it's like the most number of bars per capita or something people you know here they live in those bars and it's because it's so nice outside you can always go to a terrace you can always find something the nice part is that you can still be outside and the weather is really good it's about 20 degrees today so you can be out in the sun but it'll be interesting to see if this continues on what will happen in November December squares that are right outside of Santa Maria del Pi, the church that usually have, you can see in the back, the big open space, usually have two bars out there, which is Patapas and Bar del Pi. It's good to see that Bar del Pi still running, take away, but not much going on. This is one of my favorite plazas in the Gothic Quarter. We're in Manuel Rive, and it's just right outside of the cathedral, but it's a really quiet spot on any normal day to come through, and it's something that I would always recommend. You've got a bunch of different options all around. As you can see, there's nothing here, usually a bunch of different chairs and everything, and terraces just on the outside, and nothing. Places are open, places are still open, but everything, you gotta go. You can't even go inside. You basically gotta find a place to go in and sit. This is a different protest going on today, but in the last couple days, the restaurant owners and the bar owners have been in the plaza protesting and trying to get these measures changed. Something that they consider to be a pretty harsh measure to take considering the circumstances. Tourism has been incredibly impacted by these new measures taken, and I can only imagine that it's not going to help the issue at all. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you would travel to a place knowing that you couldn't go to a bar, couldn't go into a restaurant. Obviously, that's a big thing when we're traveling, trying to check out the foods, the drinks and everything like that. Is that going to prohibit you from coming? And those of you that are still coming, it's more important than ever to help out, to check out those local businesses, get in, grab something to go and help them out during these times. We'll see how long these bars and restaurants are closed for. In the meantime, check out some other videos, things you can do in Barcelona. And I hope you guys got to see a little bit of what's going on day to day.